Hydrogen Halides and Acids by kscience.com Here is a simplified periodic table highlighting group 7. Group 7 is also known as the halogens. Here I'm drawing the stepped line. To the right are the nonmetals and to the left are the metals. As you can see, the halogens are nonmetals. Zooming in on group 7, we can see fluorine is the first element in group 7, followed by chlorine, then bromine, then iodine, and finally astatine. Halogens react with hydrogen to form hydrogen halides. The word halide means a halogen has reacted with something. It could be an ionic bond or a covalent bond. So hydrogen reacts with fluorine to form hydrogen fluoride. Both the reactants and products are gases, and we're now going to work out how to write a balanced symbol equation. H2 reacts with F2 to form HF, and there are two moles of hydrogen fluoride. Pause now to try and figure out what are the word equations for when hydrogen reacts with chlorine and bromine, figuring out what are the reactants and what are the products. So hydrogen reacts with chlorine, forming hydrogen chloride, and hydrogen reacts with bromine, forming hydrogen bromide. Pause now and complete the balanced symbol equations for when hydrogen reacts with chlorine and when hydrogen reacts with bromine. And the answers will follow. H2 reacts with Cl2 forming HCl. Now let's balance this. On the left, there are two hydrogen atoms, two chlorine atoms, and then on the right, there is one hydrogen atom and one chlorine atom. For there to be two hydrogen and chlorine atoms, we put a big two in front of the HCl. It is now balanced. And here is the balanced equation for hydrogen reacting with bromine. This reaction follows the same rules as the two above. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Hydrogen halides dissolve in water to form acidic solutions, and you need to know the name of the first three acids in group 7. Hydrofluoric acid forms when hydrogen fluoride dissolves in water. The hydrogen fluoride molecules break or dissociate into their ions, H plus and F minus. The hydrogen fluoride dissolves in the water. A chemical reaction does not take place. Dissolving is the process. So the hydrogen fluoride molecules break, or you can say dissociate, into their ions, H plus and F minus. It's the H plus ions that makes the solution acidic. The more H plus ions there are, the more acidic the solution is. So we can summarize this process as a gas becoming aqueous, hydrogen fluoride gas becoming hydrofluoric acid. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Hydrochloric acid forms when hydrogen chloride gas dissolves in water. The hydrogen chloride gas has dissolved in the water, becoming aqueous hydrochloric acid. The molecules break, or you can say dissociate, into ions, H plus and Cl minus. Remember, it is the H plus ions that makes the solution acidic. Hydrobromic acid forms when hydrogen bromide gas dissolves in water. The molecules break or dissociate into its ions, H plus ions and Br minus ions. The hydrogen bromide gas has dissolved in the water, forming aqueous hydrobromic acid. We're now going to focus on the process of making hydrofluoric acids. Your exam could ask you about hydrofluoric acid, 
hydrochloric acid or hydrobromic acid. It's the same processes, it's just a different halogen is used. So the first process that happens is a chemical reaction. Hydrogen reacts with fluorine to make hydrogen fluoride. A hydrogen molecule and a fluorine molecule must collide with enough energy for a reaction to take place. If they do not collide and they do not have the activation energy, a reaction will not take place. When the hydrogen and fluorine molecules collide, their covalent bonds break. New covalent bonds form, forming new molecules, in this case, hydrogen fluoride. Notice there's a new covalent bond between the hydrogen atom and fluorine atom. This tells us a chemical reaction has taken place, as the reactants are different to the products. And the second process is a physical one. Hydrogen fluoride dissolves in water. This is not a chemical reaction. The hydrogen fluoride molecules dissolve in the water, where the molecules break or dissociate into the ions, H plus and F minus. So the hydrogen fluoride gas has dissolved in the water to become aqueous hydrofluoric acid. Remember, it's the H plus ions which makes the solution acidic. The more dissociated H plus ions there are, the more acidic the solution is. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.